here's an example of um, using differentials to find the error. So one side of a right triangle is known to be a 10 centimeter long and the adjacent angle is measured as pi third radian um, with a possibility of pi 15, pi over 15th error. Um, this is error. Uh, use differentials to estimate the absolute and percentage error in computing the length of the hypotenuse uh, of the triangle. So what happens with the error? Um, usually what you're measuring um, uh, has some error in measurements. Uh, and then sometimes what you're measuring is not what you're trying to, uh, what you can measure is not what you're trying to measure. It's just an input of a function that the output of that you're trying to measure. Like for example, in this case, uh, uh, you're drawing a triangle and you measure this angle to be pi third, but that could be plus minus pi 15th radian. And, and, and then you use that, this, is me this measurement is not the final thing that you're measuring, but it's the thing that helps you measure this length. And this actually, we've done one other example of this, that we have this angle and we have this side and this side. Uh, in, in this case, this side is going to be, the problem was telling us 10 centimeter. We've done this before um, when we discuss um, in civil engineering that they, they usually know uh, the distance uh, from a building and then they measure using the angles and they find the height of the building. Uh, what is the um, uh, error in the measurement there? And, and now in this case, it's on um, one side of the uh, triangle is given uh, and accurately measured. Well, we want this other side of the triangle and the other thing that we can measure is the angle in camel for whatever reason we can measure that side the hypotenuse side uh, and so we use this um, differentials to approximate the error in measurement if i use if i measure the angle and find that um, now um, again Let's remind ourselves, what's the linearization? Linearization just uses the uh, um, equation of the tangent line, which is y minus f of a equal to f prime of a times x minus a. f prime of a is the um, in slope of the tangent line at point a, and x minus a is delta x, and y minus f of a is um, a d df basically and so that's the that's the tangent line we use it for linearization with linearization you basically take that f of a on the other side and you uh, solve for y and uh, and you use y uh, to estimate the actual value at of f at x but in this case you use it to uh, write up delta y is approximated by df and df is equal to f prime at a times delta x. So delta x would be the error in measurement and so I can put in the absolute, uh, absolute error which is pi over in measurement pi over 15 but I have to calculate f prime of a. What is f of a? f of a is the function that relates that angle to the hypotenuse. So let's do that. Um, again, 10 was accurately measured without any uh, error. Uh, pi third was had some error. That angle is theta and theta with this, with this angle, with this side and that side is related by cosine theta. So cosine of, see it says, 10 centimeter, um, one side of a right angle and the adjacent, um, and so it's not the, that's the side. So cosine of theta is um, equal to 10 over, let's say, h hypotenuse for hypotenuse. And so I'm um, basically the output is h, 
theta is in the, uh, the input. So I solve for h, and it would be 10 over cosine of theta. That is 10 secant theta. And now, um, and basically, that's my f of theta, and I have to use it there. So I take the derivative, say again, h of theta is equal to 10 secant theta. h prime of theta is equal to 10 secant theta tangent theta. Okay, so I found the derivative here, and then I have to plug in um, theta is equal to pi third, uh, and that would give me h prime at pi third is equal to 10 secant of pi third, tan of pi third, and um, secant of pi third, which is 1 over cosine of pi third is equal to 2, so this is equal to 10 times 2. Tangent of pi third is uh, square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, and that's square root of 3. So it's 20 square root of 3. So the derivative part is 20 square root of uh, 3. Now, plug that back in here, 20 square root of 3, and that gives you df, which approximates delta h, basically, D, I'm sorry, dh, because we use h instead of f. And now, what is that? That is, uh, uh, you can simplify it a little bit, 20 and 15 can simplify a little bit, 4 square root of 3 pi 15. And that, if you use your... Um, I'm sorry, over a 3, sorry. Uh, when I simplify 20, and, and, and so that would be, uh, and let's say this is in centimeter. Uh, you can compute it by putting it into your calculator. Um, this is the absolute error. Again, you, you had the plus minus 5 over 15 because it's the, and then you took the absolute value and you put it, uh, it's going to be this value for it. I rewrite it again. Okay. Now, uh, what is the percentage error? To find the percentage error, you have to find h at pi third. h at pi third is equal to 10 secant of pi third, and we just computed, that would be 20. Now, to find the percentage error, divide that by 20 and write it as in, in percentage, basically. And so dividing it uh, like that, you get, uh, oh, I'm missing a pi here, sorry. Um, and you end up with uh, point thirty six something, so it's it's about thirty six percent.